Hello. Name's Benny. Or Jesse. Call me whatever. I am the official creator of the Monchers, a silly, customizable open species that I am proud to call my own. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a Moncher in Ponytown. While this species can be made anywhere in any way, this species did originate from Ponytown. So, I'm going to show you how to make one via video format. I will warn now, Ponytown is rather limiting when it comes to fully expressing a monster's abilities, design, and even personality, so feel free to draw your monster with its true colors when you're done here. Or this can be even done vice versa. I know how creative y'all can get, so go wild. Just not... Too wild though. The types of monsters that can be created within Ponytown are Earth, Space, Pony Maid, and Spirit. I will only be focused on Earth, Space, and Spirit since Pony Maid is basically like Earth. Space and Spirit, on the other hand, are different from Earth. You'll see why in a moment. Anyways, let us begin with Earth types. This will mainly be what we focus on to make the other types easier to follow. First, you want to start with the base, being the body of a monster. When using a new pony, be sure to check Allow Custom Outlines, as you'll be needing a lot of customization to put this monster together. If you're starting with the body, it's good to start off with the second or fourth front body, since it shows more of the fluff on a monster. However, other front bodies can be used as well. It just all comes down to what your monster looks like. Next, pick the 6th or 7th body patterns, as this will represent the monster spot, the only common weak point of the species as a whole. Any leg pattern is perfectly okay. Pick whatever you'd like for the monster to have. For tutorial's sake, I'm gonna keep the first option. For both the front and back feet, the most common option is the third hooves option, the ones that look like a griffin's front feet. These represent the monster's paws, but if you choose to have a monster that represents more of a gummy monster, you can pick the second option. You can customize switch these out however you'd like, it's all up to you. Save the front horn options for later as we'll be using these for the mouth when it's finished. Any side horns can be used. Originally, the side horns would be given depending on the old monster type system, but due to the possibility of there being so many made, and Ponytown being so limited, there's no reason to really limit these, so go nuts! Any wings can be used as well, but to give a short explanation, the first and third wings are used for airborne monsters, monsters that can fly into the air easier, like a bird. The second option is the most common monster wing. While these don't help them fly very well, it still helps them get a little more off the ground onto higher places. The fourth option represents a monster who ended up staying around their infant size as they grew older, becoming more like a bug or insect, being an insect monster. Again, Ponytown designs and parts are extremely limited, so don't let that stop you from doing what you like by either drawing them or creating them in a different way. Now for the pony ears, these will be used to represent the monster's eyes, so always use the 10th ear option. Always pick the second pattern option to customize the color of your eye, like so. Now, we move on to the mouth. In the main option, we are going to create the top jaw and ears. For the top jaw, the most common main is to pick option 35, 37, or 58. If you're looking for a more fluffy or gummy look, you can pick the 4th or 20th option. If you'd like to experiment, my recommendations as to what fits best are options 14, 24, and 63, the second variant. But those are just my recommendations. For the back main, the most common options are 19, 34, and 40, but once again, those options are up to you. Just as long as it's something that makes the mouth stick out, 
because not having a back mane can make the mantra look a little silly in the end product, but not the silly we're looking for. For the mantra ears, always pick the two ponytails option. There are only three of these options that have two ponytails, and the patterns are up to you. Moving on to the tail. You have the freedom to pick which tail you like, just as long as you know this little bit of info. The fish tails are used to represent the aquatic monsters, ones that can swim fairly through the water like a fish or any aquatic creature. You can make some of these tails look feathery for an airborne monster or bushy for a forest monster. But once again, those are only the given examples. The choice is all yours. Trust me, there'd be more variety of tails if Ponytown wasn't so limiting and had more options. And now we reach to the face, which will help us complete the monster head and mouth. When it comes to the inside of the mouth, be sure to have the eyes closed. And just in case they accidentally open, be sure to have the iris and pupil the same or similar color to the inside of the mouth. That way, the illusion is never lost, even if the eyes accidentally open up using an emote. No need for eyeshadow, but you can use it to make the inside of the mouth look a little more detailed. And as for the eyelashes, those should also match up with the color you're going for for the inside of the mouth. The muzzle will save for the tongue, so let's move to the face pattern. When using a face pattern, always use the ninth option, as the green color represents the teeth, the blue color represents the darker inside part of the mouth, and the pink doesn't really matter that much because it never shows, so make it whatever color you'd like. If you chose the mane that sort of covers this part of the mouth or face anyway, you don't really have to worry about it as much when making the inside of the mouth. Just make it the same dark color you're wanting as well as the teeth being colored in. And also, don't forget to make the pony mouth match the same or similar color to the inside of the monster mouth, for the same reason I gave with the pony eyes. This is mostly just in case, though honestly it doesn't show up as much. Now we finally get down to the bottom jaw. When scrolling down to the facial hair, the most common option is option 9. The first yellow color represents the tongue, the second blue color represents more teeth, and the third green option represents the rest of the head, being the fur of the bottom jaw. Also be sure to have the muzzle match the same color as the tongue, as it's also sort of a part of the tongue. Other options, such as Beard 11, 14, and 15, still work on a monster, just as long as you remember the pattern of the first three colors. The only beard that it swaps on is Beard 14, so be sure to pay attention when making the bottom jaw that beard option. Now that the mouth is done, let's add the nostril. Go back to the front horns and pick the short horn option. Have the inner color be the dark part of the nostril, and the outer match up with the rest of the mouth, whatever that color may be. You may pick a color of magic if your mantra is a shiny mantra, which tends to glow a lot more than a typical mantra. They can have horns like a unicorn horn, but in Ponytown, well, it just makes it look like it's coming out of their nose, and there's sadly not much we can do about it here. But some monsters do indeed have those kind of horns, even if they don't produce magic. Before we finish up, and this part is optional, if you want to add some shine to your eye, ear accessories can help with that. Preferably options 1, 2, 3, 4, and 7. You can experiment with whatever you like though, and maybe have it blend in with the rest of the body depending on what you pick. Other than that, you're finished! Your Earth Monster or Pony Made Monster is pretty much complete. Now you can customize it to your heart's content. Now for this part, we will move on to the space types, the ancestors of the monsters, so to speak. With these monsters, there are some key differences compared to Earth. I'll make this short and simple though. If you followed the Earth type tutorial from before, this should make it relatively easy. For your tail, add invisible segments to make it look like it's floating off of the body. 
using the hex codes for the grass during each season of Ponytown, and the pattern types that make the tail look like it's segmented. You can have as many segments as you want, just as long as it works good with your monster. The most common trait for space monsters are their anti-gravity tails that float separate from their body, but still stay connected to the general body. Sort of like a Rayman thing, think about it like that. For the front body, use the third or fifth option, as the space monsters have a hard scaly stomach instead of more fur. You can also use the second or third back body for the shield, which covers their usual weak spot with a hard shell. The back manes are also different, as they are much shorter. So pick options 9, 14, 15, 16... Okay, yeah, there's honestly a lot here, so I'll just show them on screen. These shorter main options can also be used for your earth monsters. Just fit what's best for your monster in general. For their eyes, they're usually always a black void or extremely dark color with light outlines surrounding. Nothing else to change beside that matter. Hi, recording on phone. Uh, there's one little thing I forgot to mention about this part of the tutorial, is that the space type monsters usually have like little antennas floating above their heads. So just have the stem of the little antenna here blending with the rest of your head, then the little spot be whatever color you want. Uh, this is optional. Not all space monsters or space types can have it, but it it's all up to you. Anyway. Another thing to note is that space monsters normally shine, so the magic effect can be whatever you'd like. What I have explained up to this point describes a Moonbright monster, but I should also add that these space types can be extra fluffy, and those monsters are considered moon caves. Monsters that lived on the dark side of the moon throughout their entire lives and grew an extra coat of fur in the process, due to it being so cold back there. They also end up becoming blind, which makes their eyes almost pure white, as well as having no wings, since there's no point of them to spend time flying if all of their time is spent on the ground. This is just something I wanted to point out in case anyone is curious or gets confused. One last thing to note before we wrap this up is that space types and earth types cannot breed with each other. Due to their mating rituals as well as their breeding organs being vastly different from each other, it is sadly impossible for them to crossbreed with each other. The closest thing you can get is an earth type representing something from space, and possibly a space type representing something from earth, but that's about it. Other than that though, there's your space mantra tutorial. And now a quick rundown of the specter types. These are the deceased monsters that appear in spirit form and only come out every full moon. This event is called the Rejoice, as this gives a chance for other monsters to rejoice with their kin who may have passed. First, make the back legs blend in with the Ponytown Grass Hex Code completely, whatever the hex code may be for that season. Then, go to skirts and make it any option of your choice, since all of them technically work. Then go to the front legs and have the outline be a fade into the same grass hex color. This goes for the paws as well. Now go to your front mane and make it option 35 or 58. The color of the top jaw should always be a light purple color, as this reveals their skeleton. Fun fact, all monsters have a light purple colored skeleton. Now for the ears, they normally expose the skin within the monster ears, which always show a little red dot at the tip, that being their antenna. For the inside mouth, have it be a blackish or darkish color. Also, go to the bottom jaw and blend the tongue in with that darkish color of the inside mouth, since spirits do not have a tongue, or any real organs for that matter. Spirit monsters still do have their fur, so make the fur any color you please. For the wings, make them look as skeletal looking as possible, as these are exposed bones from the wings, using the same light purple skull color. That goes the same for the tail. Options 19, 24, 32, and 36 work best for a more skeletal appearance, but other tails can work just as long as you make them look withered or a little ghoulish. 
And yes, these tails can also separate from the body using the segment technique. Have the nostril be a full black or dark color, as this gives off the skeleton head effect. And lastly, for the eyes, give them a black colored hole with a white or light colored pupil. Kinda like a FNAF spooky eye. And as we finish up the spirit monster, that concludes our entire tutorial on how to make a monster in Ponytown. Earth, Pony Maid, Spirit, or Space Type. If you have any questions, you may ask me in the Monster Discord server or DM me directly on Discord. You can show off your monster wherever you'd please, just as long as you tag me so I can see it as well. I always love seeing your guys' monstrous designs. Thanks for watching, and have fun creating!